got some static. All right, so now we're removing the center console to be able to access the backup cam, and it's working. Let's go. But it feels really good. So this is the updated interior, but we have a few. So it looks good. So let's drop this bad boy in. That looks so much better. What is up guys? Welcome back to Nolik Garage. I am Gartrell. Thank you for tuning in. Today we have a really great install. I cannot wait to kind of transform this interior. We're gonna be installing the numeric shifter and we're gonna be installing the PCCM Plus. Two of the best mods that you can install on your Porsche as well to completely transform the interior feel and just allow you to have a better all around experience listening to your music, getting seamless Apple CarPlay and more. But before we can install the PCCM Plus and the shifter, what we're gonna be doing is dropping the car off to get the rear view camera installed. So one of the biggest things that I've had trouble with coming off of my M4 was not having a rear view camera. While I park successfully every time, I'm a good parker, it just makes me have more peace of mind when I can see what's behind me and ensure that I'm not gonna be damaging my Porsche when parking or parallel parking. Um, so I bought a kit off of a gentleman on eBay. I saw a lot of other options out there, but um, none really gave me the subtlety that this one gave, which is installed in the rear view license plate light. It kind of blends in and that's what I really like. Um, as well as it gives you that LED light retention option. So you don't just have one LED light or one halogen light illuminating your license plate. So this was my favorite kit that I found. But um, it comes attached to an LED light. So that will be a plus. And then I also have some LED lights to go on the opposite side to kind of match the color temperature. I believe these are 6K lumens, um, but I'm not 100% sure. The rest of the kit is as included, a jumble of wires of which I do not understand or know about, but I know that the person that I'm going to knows his wiring, he knows his connections, and I know this kit comes with installation instructions, so I'll be handing those off to him in case he needs any assistance. Basically, this kit is supposed to protect your PCCM Plus from any aftermarket rear view cameras that could potentially short out and damage your PCCM Plus. So this person set up this kit and uh, basically sells it on eBay. It's about 200 bucks in total. Um, you tell me, did I overpay? Um, but yeah, I just really wanna make sure that it's done right. And I think that this might give me the best possible chance to get that right. Um, basically, I'm gonna go have this professionally installed and then we'll come back and install the PCCM Plus. Um, as well as the numeric shifter. And I absolutely can't wait. I can't wait to have Apple CarPlay again. I can't wait to have, you know, Waze and everything right here on my head unit as opposed to having my phone and having it flopping all over. This is gonna be the best upgrade to date, even better than the headlights, I think. So stay tuned. We're gonna get that all done today. Since I last spoke on this video, which was like maybe a few seconds ago for you, it's been a couple days for me. I have gotten the rear view camera installed on the 997. Just wanted to show you what that looks like. So it's very, very well hidden. If you're looking at the car from, this is about maybe three or four feet away, it's very well tucked away, but just good enough where I'm sure I'll be able to see everything behind me. So I'm really happy with this install. And again, I'll link this down in the description below. Today, we're gonna to be installing the other half of this, which is the PCCM Plus. And we got a bunch of other goodies we're gonna be installing, in addition to the numeric short shifter. I'm really excited to install both of these things because from what I've heard, they completely transformed the experience in the car, from the PCCM Plus having you know better sound quality from its amplifier, better um, navigation systems, and just a host of other things, including Apple CarPlay, which is really useful for in today's um, society. And then, on the feel side, we'll be able to get nice crisp shifts out of that numeric shifter, so I cannot wait to install these and let you know how they are. Oh, Jesus, man. has chased him all the way to the flag, but Max Verstappen will take back the top step. Max Verstappen wins in Imola. What a finish from those two across the line. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. 
He can't keep getting away with it. Oh man, this season is gonna be a boring one. I'm telling you, but you know what? We'll just keep uh, keep our hopes alive for the rest of the field. This is terrible. Terrible. You win so much. It's just so boring to watch now. <laughs> so, gonna look up how to actually do this because I have no clue. Christian's on his way. When he gets here, he'll help out. Let's get these things installed. Okay, that was the step one. All right, so we just disconnected the plugs and the old head unit is out. Say goodbye to outdatedness. Always be careful pulling out these plugs. Make sure to squeeze both on this one. And use and a flathead screwdriver if you need, the brown very gently. One, right, exactly, has only one side that squeezes. Same thing with the black one. Also only has one side that squeezes. And then we used a super small flathead to help gently pry on it to pull these out. The other ones have two push tabs on one side as well. Which you can see there, and then you do the same thing. All right, so let's get it in. I'm super hyped to get this out of here. I almost want to toss it, but I'm keeping all of the factory stuff intact. And let's get this new one in, because I really need some Apple CarPlay in my life. Okay, so I explained that I bought this kit online for the reverse camera, and you could just put this away just for a second. I wanna show them the connector itself. So the connector needs to know that you're in reverse. And in order to do this, we got an extra pin, pin six, which is supposed to trigger the reverse when we put the car into reverse. What we found online, because we don't know where that pin goes, is basically exactly that, where the pin is supposed to go. So they tell us, and I'm gonna share this link down in the description below. So they give this diagram of the connectors and we're supposed to pin that wire, that loose wire to pin six. So if you see pin six is that top left one there, um, which is also the uh, wiring loom for the reverse camera to begin with. So I'll show you that exact connection on the back of the radio. Basically, yes, thank you for pointing. That pin right there is where we're gonna pin that loose wire and that will be the trigger for reverse when we put the car into reverse. So pin that six one into that one there. All right, so we got everything basically wired up. There might be a couple other steps we might have to do, but we were just going to give a, a preliminary look. Let's see. Ooh! Damn. We got some static. Because we're not on this proper station. So leave that and then Store, what is store? Oh, snap. These days, if go to 97.1 because that's a nice. nice. Sounds good. We don't want to get copyrighted. Yeah, I don't, right. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Um, but it actually it seems works. that this is great. Yeah, this thing is working. Let's see the home button. Dude, this App. is sick. Please connect your ah. mobile device. And then you can get Apple CarPlay set up. So that's the perfect, USB. yeah. We'll just have to plug that in. Um, and then I think we'll have our Apple CarPlay, Waze, all that stuff. Right, and the audio should come out crispier through Apple CarPlay because it's plugged in. Yeah. Direct connection. Sorry, I got this shit like. Hella zoomed in. Yeah. You see my nose? <laughs> weirdo <laughs> you were zoomed in i figured they were I, looking at yeah, my nose i mean i guess <laughs> but all right this looks good um i think what we're gonna do is finish watching this guy's video because again he does a very good job of uh, explaining everything and see if there's any other steps that we need to complete before we put this in all the way and then we'll get on to the numeric shifter which is the next part of today's video so we almost forgot there's something we have to test We got the trigger for backup cam and it's working. Let's go. Awesome. Take it out of reverse. Oh, perfect. Dude, that's freaking amazing. Yes, that's With that and the lights, hello. Yeah, it's gonna be so much better. Car. Wow, that's freaking awesome. Oh, perfect. And it does, look, so this is the actually the bumperette. 
And yes, it is kind of obstructing, so maybe we will relocate this in the future, but this is actually perfect for what I need it for, which is just to see how close I am. And actually, if I'm too close to a car, the bumperette getting it's close the to the car is the indicator that I'm too close to the car. So this is more than what I could hope for and exactly what we need. So whenever I need to parallel park or I'm backing up and I'm, I'm not 100% sure where the rear end is at in proximity to things. At night, in the rain, you can see it all. Yes, I'm super, <laughs> super happy. So like I said, in the description, the backup camera, now you have the directions in terms of where to pin it and how to set it up. And obviously you just need a PCCM and you are set. So like I said, done with this part. Let's go. This is next. <laughs> Apple CarPlay actually sounds incredible. We have it on. It's working perfectly. Charging the phone. And the sound quality is even better than the FM radio. So it's like perfect for what I need. Perfect. Honestly, this is a huge, huge quality of life improvement, guys. Yeah, seriously. Totally worth the money. 100%. Especially if you spend a lot of time in your car, like, come on. And that's the best part. When you're riding around with your friends, you want to have some good quality music playing. You want to have ways and everything that you need to navigate without having to look at your phone and freak out about, around, yeah, it. exactly. It it's to me all the time. pretty dangerous, actually. And so I'm super glad that we got this installed. I'm ecstatic. I cannot wait to go on a drive with the boys with this installed. But we're not done yet. Like I said, we have to get that numeric shifter in. So let's button this up and then get working on the shifter so we can get this cleaned up. And then we got a bunch of other, a bunch of other smaller things that we're gonna be doing to the car today as well. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. And we're gonna try and get that all done today. So stay tuned. And if you made it this far, why not drop a sub? Thanks. <laughs> all right, so now we're removing the center console to be able to access the shifter. As you can see, we have the shift boot off. Note to self, you want to twist. Once you get this first ring up using a pry tool, you'll be able to pull the shift boot up to the point where you'll be able to see this mechanism. There will be a snap ring on the bottom that you need to rotate before pulling up. Otherwise, you could potentially break your shift knob. Um, now that we have this removed, there's a trim piece that goes around the side. Again, remove with clips. Um, or a pry, it's, it's removed by clips and you, all you would need is a pry tool to pry that up. Um, again, a pry tool here for the bolt underneath where the um, handbrake goes. And then lastly, underneath your tray, you can peel it up with the pick tool or just use your finger. I use my finger and there are four bolts under there um, that you will need to remove in order to get this whole console to pull up out and up and out. So I'm gonna remove all those screws now along with this tray because there is also some screws behind this from what I'm told. And then we can remove the whole center console and then start getting to the actual shifter. All right, so we we're able to disconnect the cables. Um, we watched a couple videos how to, on how to do it, but basically we ended up just, once this is all exposed and you've removed the center console in its entirety, you can push these forward and twist them and they'll stay in this locked position. As you can see, the spring is depressed. And then you can slightly pull these out of their holding place, which is inside of this spring loaded mechanism. And then with equal pressure, one finger on this side, one finger on this side, you can pull them out of their grooves by which they sit. You do this for both sides, then remove these four 10 millimeter bolts, which Chris is now removing. And then this should actually just be released from the console. I wanna say take extreme care with all of your plastic pieces as you take them out. I think that this had this car had had them removed before because these shift cables look fairly new and a lot of the plastic parts were actually broken or snapped or screws were missing. Um, thankfully, like I said, I have a bunch of parts that I plan on installing on this car. One of them in the future could be a center console of which kind I'm not going to say. Um, <laughs> but I intend to replace the center console at some point, either for a brand new one or something slightly upgraded. So um, I'm not too upset, but I'm more excited to see how the shifter is once we get it installed. 
um, we're almost there, so stick with us. And then we'll get onto those small little bits um, and you'll see the car completed, basically, yeah. The PCCM is, however, installed and looking very, very nice. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so we got the PCCM installed. We got the numeric shifter installed. Don't be afraid to adjust the uh, cable, the shifter cable linkage holders so that you don't have to force them over and in. You want them to kind of just sl slot straight down and in. We eye-lined these threaded pieces back into their original spot and then released the spring that held them in place. So now they're back where they should be. And the shifter is in the medium position. So there's three holes. So we have it in the center. And the shifter honestly feels great already. I think now I'm gonna have to get on the road in order to really feel how good it is. But it feels really good. I'm super excited and so happy that we installed both of these today. So let's button this thing back up and get on to the rest of the small bits. So the car's looking like a car again. We have the panels, the kick panels and everything going back on. But what we're gonna install to make everyone's life a little easier is a Renline phone mount. That's right, a little bit that's gonna be double-sided tape onto the kick panel and then we'll have a nice place to mount the phone. So when we're riding with Apple CarPlay, again, the phone's not gonna be flying, flying around. Mm. So let's pop this in and see how it looks when it's all done. All right, so with that installed, um, this is the final product. We have the numeric short shifter PCCM Plus and Renline phone mount all set with the magnetic back. Bop. So this is the updated interior, but we have a few other things that we gotta install. And they're actually back here. Very minor, what? but something that we need to do. First thing, if you remember, last time we installed the motor mounts, there was a little screw missing. I'm gonna pop this in so we get no more rattle from that air box. So that's the first thing. Next thing, while we have the air box out to put that in, ta-da. Upgraded filter. Yes, so we might get a little bit more induction noise, maybe, probably not. And if I'm correct, I think we get a couple of horsepower from just this filter Bing. upgrade. So I'm in. let's uh, get that installed. And then we got two other goodies to install today. They're gonna be pretty quick, but I think well worth it. So stay tuned. All right, so it's the old dirty one. Got that out. Took a bunch of T20 screws to unscrew around the edge of those things, but it is out. And here's a new one. Nice. So it looks good. So let's drop this bad boy in. And we already installed that little clip, which is right there. So my airbox won't rattle anymore. Incremental improvements. Let's go. All right, so now that that's installed, buttoned up, done, away. Not gonna get any more rattles from the air box, which is a small upgrade, but needed. And we got the new air filter in from the dirty old air filter. And this one is supposed to increase performance. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't care. It's brand new. It that's clean. what I want. It is clean, exactly. exactly. All right, but now, in addition to the Morimoto headlights that we have, gonna be installing the Morimoto side markers. Um, that should, again, increase the look of the car, or increase the look of the car. Improve, Improve the look of the car at a night from nighttime. I'm just gonna say this all over again. So in addition to the Morimoto headlights, we got the Morimoto side lock. In addition <laughs> to the Mori, in addition to the Morimoto headlights, we have the Morimoto side markers and this is going to improve the look of the car um, at night and I think just adding uh, a more modern touch with LEDs so let's get it in 
I'm gonna show you how to install the Morimoto LED side markers because it was not apparent to me. So basically, when you take off the old one, right, you're gonna slide it out just like how any other direction would say. You're gonna slide it back, directly straight back, and then you're going to press it in, kind of like the new um, Tesla uh, door handle. Press it in from the back and then the, this will come out and then you'll be able to unhook it. All right, but the main part is actually how you plug it in and get them to work. So it might not be apparent, but it comes with just this little plug, as you can see here. And then it comes with like a ballast, which doesn't really make sense because the ballast doesn't plug into this. The ballast doesn't plug into this and this plugs into nothing. I actually have no idea what this is for. What you're supposed to do is unplug the bulb from the original headlight, from the original side marker, sorry, and then plug this, back up because I can't see, plug this directly into where the bulb would go. So now it's seated. And then you plug this back into the original connector and your LED side markers will work. So I'll plug these in, uh, turn on the car's uh, side markers, and you'll be able to see them come alive. And they actually look really good. So I'm gonna press this down, slide it in, let it go. Christian, do you mind? No problem. Boom. That looks so much better. Now, All right. Marcho, you want to grab them and show them the other side real quick? I'll hold this for you. What do you mean? So you can see what the other side looks like before. Yeah. So this is the aftermarket LED. And this is the factory halogen. I think this goes with our theme. Yeah. So I'm actually really excited to get these on. A much more modern look. Let's go. All right, so with those installed, the last thing we're gonna do today is the easiest. Track mats. Wanna open that up? Actually, this one's open already before I show up this one. Yeah. Very nice. Um, with the rem line embroidered on there. Or not really embroidered, but it's metal. In there. Aluminum it's track mats. Nice. So that's gonna go in the driver side, and then we got one for the passenger side. The last thing we'll be doing today. Some other goodies in here. In order to install these track mats, we actually have to have a Velcro strip placed on the heel pad inside the car. I'm gonna turn the ISO up so you can see that. So basically we're gonna clean it first. I know it's really bright, sorry. And then we're going to place the Velcro on that heel pad and then put the track mat on. Pretty much straightforward, right? Pretty easy. All right, it's probably gonna take us an hour. <laughs> we say that a little bit tired, then fast forward one hour later. Bro, it's not even funny. Listen, um, we but like yeah. to be thorough with our cars, I guess. Yeah, we started in the daytime. We did a lot, though. We got a we lot done. Do a lot. We got the PCCM installed. We got the numeric Short shifter throw. installed. We got the Ren line mount installed. We got the... Um, the new filter, Side correct. Markers. Side markers are done. We're getting yeah, the track, track mats in. And we might have one more thing to do. TBD though. Yeah, we'll see if we can get it done. Alright, let's get cracking. Alright, so the very last thing we're gonna attempt to do tonight, so late, is get these to LED status. So, currently this one is an LED, but for whatever reason when it was installed, I don't think it was plugged in all the way. So we're gonna attempt to get that working. We're gonna change this to an actual LED as we already have the LED. Um, fixture so we're gonna change that now so to remove this all you have to do is remove the two Phillips head screws that are actually holding the old halogen bulb in place then there's like a pinch clip on the side that you would pinch in and you would be able to remove the uh, housing it's a little tough so don't 
be shy to like get something like a pry tool or something in there. Not a big pry tool, just something like a small screwdriver to get it out. Take the connector off, plug the Ren line one in, and you get this nice 6K LED. And then we were having an issue with this one, um, which is part of the uh, reverse. reverse camera that I ordered online. And we had plugged it in further and got it that connection tight and now the LED is on. So the temperatures match and it's very well illuminated and everything is looking crispy. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. We got a bunch of things installed on the car today, most notably Apple CarPlay and the PCCM Plus as well as the numeric shifter being those top two things. Um, I would definitely recommend them for your build. The interior is now transformed for me. Um, we got the Morimoto LED side markers in. We got the LED um, license plate frames installed. We got the uh, track mats in and... Short shifter kit? We said the short shifter kit. Foam mount? And we got the Renline foam mount plugged in. So we got a bunch done today. Next up is going to be something that's going to completely transform the car even further. Um, but thank you for watching from both of us here and peace out. We'll see you in the next one.